Welcome back. We're celebrating five years of Tarkaran here on the channel. Five. Still in person. Whole years, baby. Are we on, is this the eighth, the eighth episode this is the of eighth Micronesia? Episode. We've made a heck of a lot of progress. We, we had talked about, like, at some point, like, were we going to go through a whole season? That's a lot. That's a lot to get through. Um, don't think we're going to be doing that exactly, but we are going to try to get, still continue to get through. I would love to. A couple more episodes, even, even after this, so. We're close. Um, we're close. We are close. We're probably we're just about halfway through the season, and maybe a little over that even now. Like 14 episodes, I think? 15, including or the 15, reunion. Including. But yeah. So that's not bad at all, by any means. Made a heck of a lot of progress here. So, last time, um, there were some attempts at a 3-2-1 vote, which would have been really interesting because Suri's in the mix. Uh, I'm the outs of that one, uh, but that didn't was not to be. Tracy was voted out uh, of that particular. So it was kind of what you'd expect. It's what Ozzy wanted. Ozzy wants that threat kind of eliminated. Tracy and Kathy, I guess. And Ian Kathy Ooh, also. Gone. Kathy's gone, gone too. Kathy's gone too. Yeah, it was kind of a big... Big bummer over on the other side there. Nobody really knows, you know, kind of knew what to say and <laughs> awkwardly. I think Jeff actually had some of the best comfort for her, really, when it came down to it. So, but, uh, mm. but yeah. Well, let's get into the next episode. Yeah, right? let's just get right into it here. Click the um, link in the description to see the highlights of the reaction. Come back afterwards for the discussion. There it is. I mean, she she was genuinely upset. She was it was uh, yeah. She was emotional. Was very emotional. Wow. She, and she thought she was finally a part of it. Yeah, she thought <laughs> she was a part of it for for real. That was a, it was this, this whole thing where she like went up and thanked him like thanks for thanks for helping me be a part of that. And it was very awkward for him because he was like, but I just said all these horrible things about you. <laughs> it was like kind of this weird. Like okay. You're welcome. Thanking him for throwing her under the bus. Yeah. yeah. But it's very crazy. I mean, they don't want to. She was the ice queen. She was running the show. Yeah. Big time. Up until it got upended on her. But mm -hmm. in this game, it was like, yeah, much different side we've seen in her, especially towards the end here. Softer side. Very different. Very different side. emotional. Completely cracked. No, I can't remember her like ever crying in the Vanuatu. Huh? No, not at all. That's what, I mean. That was why we. That's like what we said. Like Ice Queen, like the whole time, basically. But you know, so. uh, she wanted it. You can tell she wanted it bad. Mm. But Eric also wanted it, and he, he made the thing. He made the thing happen. And he just uh, laid it all out there for him. Yeah, I mean that was a great. It was a great move. Uh, I mean it was. He was kind of. It was kind of backed into a corner, so he was almost forced to to a degree. But I don't know. We've seen, we've seen definitely plays of like people where they've they've had the opportunity to do something like that, where it's like you got to make your case somehow, and then they just roll over and die, basically. So, you know, but and a lot of times, even if you try to do something like this, it's like, well, literally what he said in tribal council, he was like, "I'm backed into a corner. I have no other choice." That's right. often the reason people don't believe that person because right. like, well, they're going to say anything, right? To to stay in, no one's right. gonna get voted out. But I think he probably gave enough like enough. credible information in there. Was like there was enough credible information going she in. She told him, yeah, there was about enough. the dynamics and sure the beforehand that like the well it helps. Didn't need to tell him. It helps too that he made the case to everyone. It, he wasn't just like trusting Ozzy, but he like made the case to the, all three of the people that mm -hmm. he needed to help him. So. Um, I do like how you waited and got to Ozzy first, though. Yeah, Damn. that was a great... That was, that was, the loyal that was puppy dog moment, it was very funny. But it was actually the smartest thing that he could possibly do, was to do that. It was smart because if they weren't as on his side uh, with, after his argument, mm. is it, it wasn't like he, he's getting the distilled version through them first. And right, then, then right. They, yeah. So... Yeah, he was just like, like I want to, I want to talk this out with you before anyone else says anything. So you can tell, I mean, Ozzy has an affinity for him anyway. So mm -hmm. and he's like, all right. Well, as soon as he, he realized that uh, Amy apparently wanted to target him, then that was it. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's funny though, because remember, uh, Eric was the one making the plea to Chet. It's like, we could take Ozzy out. We'll be the biggest. Yeah, thing sure, now. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wanted to upset, but. It was, that was at a weird yeah. point where he was too, he wasn't, 
he wasn't at the loyalty level that he is now. Like, it, like it's like that that bonding session they had in the last episode. You know, Ozzy's was his like, savior. Was he's been Ozzy man. is his savior. Yeah, Ozzy is his, is his man. Is his go-to. If he didn't have, if he didn't have Ozzy in his corner or fighting for him, I don't know if he would if he would have uh, sided with him here. Probably not because because yeah, they just have no reason to. Seems like to Amanda was like yeah going into the conversation with Ozzy. Mm. She was seemed like she wanted to keep uh, Amy. Because, well, the devil you know. Versus yeah, the, the devil you know versus the devil you don't, yeah. Yeah. Um, did we, I don't know if we really, we really got Ceri's full thoughts on it, or like where she wanted to go with it. But. No. But. Yeah. It seems to me that she's she was more or less siding kind of on Amanda's, Amanda's whole thing, where it's just like, I can't really trust either of them so much. Mm-hmm. But. But Amy's, uh, Amy was, was fun. I mean, it yeah. was to give us an interesting, different layer of her and the... For sure, for real. Interesting arc here from first season to now. Mm. I always say it's like she really was the ice queen, yeah. ice queen until now she's melted. Melted, yeah. <laughs> With scoops. <laughs> it took Eric, the ice cream man, to, to melt her somehow. <laughs> you it's interesting. You would think, you would think it would be the opposite <laughs> of that, but he knows his way around <laughs> ice cream, yeah. I guess, so he, he would be able to do it. He knows how to melt ice cream. He knows how as an ice cream scooper. <laughs> he knows how to melt them. It's, it's so close, but it's not quite there. That it's, it's not. <laughs> <to the water. laughs> yeah. So. I mean, the ice cream scooper yeah. melted the ice queen. Ice you know, queen, so yeah. Ice queen scooper. <laughs> ice. He's the ice, ice queen scooper. Yeah, there. <laughs> it's a weird. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. That was a great episode, though. Overall, I mean, I think it was. I wasn't overly keen, particularly in the second half. The first half was like, it was kind of, it was a little bit of whatever. Um, but there's, you know, there's some some inklings, some hints as to what might be happening further. Mm -hmm. uh, Parvati is working on trying to get some of the women of that tribe, the fans on her side, so that she has a plan versus some of the stronger men once the merge happens, um, sure. which is smart. Um, on her end. That's the first time that we've seen her going against the mold of anything, everything that we know about her. <laughs> like, that's all anyone knows about me, but I'm way more than that. <laughs> well, now it took to episode eight, but it's true. There is more to her than that. It's great. Um, yeah, the wipeout challenge, ready to pick one. Yeah, wipeout time. One person from each tribe, they will sit out of the immunity challenge. They go to exile. They'll, they'll go to exile, but they'll be immune right. if they do lose. Right. Um, so they said Ozzy mm -hmm. from the one tribe, mm -hmm. which might have made the difference. Honestly, might have made a big difference, yeah. Because if Ozzy hadn't done these that, courses, it, it might have been, it might have been the other side. It might have gone the other side at that point. Yeah. They said Alexis and the other one. It, I mean, it wouldn't have made any more. Yeah, they were right. It wouldn't make any more sense to take out James. He was just there swinging a bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much at that point. It's all on the runners here. Yeah. So. so they lost again. They did lose again. Mm -hmm. And that hit, that hit that they previewed was the lamest thing. No, they, they built that up. Yeah. They built that up knowing like, yeah, we've gotten a lot of people injured this time around. And it was just a lame, like, yeah, he fell over, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> it happens it happens like every challenge. Someone takes a, takes a little bit of a hit, you know, but. What else, what else happened this episode? Um, oh, well, Ozzy and Alexis, because they were sent to Exile Island, Ozzy got to go confirm yeah. That his idol has been taken by somebody, so he doesn't necessarily know who, but he he knows that it's in play now. So well, who who all's been there uh, since? Not many people. Jason, Kathy. Who else got sent there? There was there was like a uh, well, Tri it could have been Tracy. Tracy, Eric. Eric got sent there. But he, he's gotta be pretty sure that Tracy didn't get it. Tracy didn't get it. Yeah, Eric didn't get it. Well, he doesn't know that, though. Yeah, he could probably narrow it down, then. There's not many yeah, options. There's not many options. It's like, what was yeah. it? it was Chet. Chet went out with it. Right. That's right. Yeah. No, Chet is late. Chet is late. Was Chet there with Ozzy? I think Chet was there with Ozzy. Yeah, that was why Ozzy got it. Yeah, that's right. Because... <laughs> okay, yeah. so, yeah. No, well... No, hold on. What? Uh, Chet was with Ozzy, I think, one time. Maybe? Maybe not. Because... No, it was Jason and Chet. 
Yeah, yeah. It was Jason Chet because Ozzy was with Kathy. <laughs> so, yeah, those are our options. Jason Chet, <laughs> Kathy, or Tracy. Yeah. And three of them aren't aren't here. And Eric. But Eric would have thrown that out there. Right? Didn't Eric go? Oh, hold on. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see here. No, I feel like we would have seen him going through the clues. Um, I'm trying to see who went to... No, it wasn't him. Yeah. Uh, no, was it was it? it was Tracy and someone else. Tracy and Jason, maybe, is who went. Yeah. But last episode, I think that might have been it. And it was after the fact, so... Yeah, so anyway. So, yeah. So, yeah. You probably, probably know it's, it's gotta be one. It's gotta be one of probably Jason. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, who would you give your MVP for the episode? It's tough. I, I'd, I'd love to give it to, to Amy, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I can briefly do that when Eric did did the best he could. Mm -hmm. The best he could. I think I'm going to give it to Eric because he yeah. played his case. He did such a good job pleading his case, and he did the right, made the right decisions to do what he did when he did. Um, again, that's something that we've seen time and time again in Survivor throughout the season that we've been watching where people have the opportunity to do that and they fumble it. They don't make the case right enough. They don't have the, the right information or they don't have the right arguments to persuade people. So it just so happened that he had all the right pieces in play for his argument. He argued in the right way. Um, he, yeah. he, did, he did what he could. He didn't just rely on Ozzy, but he made the case to everyone. So, yeah. and he didn't let, and he didn't let Amy's like, weird kind of like thank you for for opening it up to make me bond with these with these ladies he didn't let that deter him he's like no i'm still gonna tell ozzy though i still gotta see he's I still got to they, like, they have uh they really like each other they're very nice people mm. um amy even on the way out was like we're gonna have so much fun yeah hugging him so so they're kind of no give respect game. No game hard respect game. No hard feelings in some way. I mean, Amy looked pretty broken up about it, but yeah. At the end of the day, but also at the end of the day, <laughs> Amy had been conniving against him. So like, even though even though she was very emotional about it, not wanting to go, and she, she she, she, she ultimately out on him, she though. yeah. She was like, you know, I, I get it. Yeah, he's got to do what he's got to do, but and he's all, he's a nice guy. Right. But, you know, it sucks right. that they don't want to work with me. I thought that I had a thing going here. Right. But no. No, she was making the case like, I, but I didn't But I didn't do that. But it's, well, you were, and they got to they gotta weigh that in terms of their decision making. And, and so they did. So, yeah. Eric was uh, was winning, winning me over real quick here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's yeah. making some good moves. He could, he could go on a run. I don't know. Gotta have to go up against his his dad though, Ozzy. <laughs> his dad slash lover. He practically <laughs> adopted Eric. He practically adopted. <laughs> he said that in the beginning. If nothing else so. is cast. They're all like, for the most part, they're fighting for it. They want. Mm -hmm. They want it. They're all. Mm -hmm. They all seem hungry for it. You know. Well, fighting. everyone who's left anyway is. Yeah. yeah they're fighting to the last uh, second. You know, even getting like Tracy getting voted out. I mean, everyone, people want like Jonathan. For, Jonathan's fighting for it too. But that's the thing. So everyone except for Chet. Uh, Kathy and Johnny Fairplay mm. really fought to the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Alright, well, yeah. thank you for watching. Check back Thanks next week for another yeah. episode. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like this video, what video should they recommend that or watch next? Uh, I'm gonna say you check out episode 8 of Survivor Vanuatu. Oh. Is that significant or? No, I was just, this is episode eight of the season, know. but that was the season where Amy was. Yeah, I don't know what off. episode they, uh, they pulled off, off the move on off and the, stuff. Off the top, I could look it up real quick. It's the one she gets booted out? I don't know if that is the one she got booted out. It's called Amy's Aura. That episode is called Amy's Aura, so there you go. Might as well. You might as well do that, yeah. Check, Amy's check Aura. It out. Episode eight, <laughs> aura. probably a very different aura at the time. Well, look at the look at the face. Look at that face. Mm -hmm. It's great, great. I love it. Love to see it. Check that out. One of the biggest chocolate cakes I've ever seen is the is the, the teaser for it. Also, by the way, we have two hundred subscribers now. Two hundred officially. We're at two hundred. Nice. How about that? I just saw that. Cool. Five years, 200 subs, hell yeah, there we go.
Love to see it. All right, check the, you yeah, come back next week, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, and uh, if you read, if you do, we'll read your comments on the next episode of the Tar Crown Podcast that we record. Uh-huh. All right, check out our social media below, hit the notification bell, take care of yourself.